Hello Cancer, welcome to your general timeless love reading. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter placements. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. My name's Jordan. I'm a Master Reiki practitioner and tarot reader, and I do a lot of other spiritual things. So check out my website down below for personal bookings, and let's get into it. We're going to be using Witches Tarot and Tarot Royale today. So let's begin. We're going to look at each person's head, heart, and soul, the current situation, and the obstacle y'all are facing. Cancer. Cancer. <laughs> Cancer, they show me rabbits. When I see rabbits, rabbits are about like abundance and freedom. It's very lighthearted, uh, playful. And some of you really need to spend more time outside because uh, they immediately now put me in the woods. <laughs> some of you really need to spend more time outside. Three of Cups in reverse. This feels like a disconnect. Um, that's in somebody's head. Heart. Soul. Interesting. Okay, so in the head of this individual, we have an energy of like a disconnect. A three of cups to me is not feeling close to your soul tribe. So people who are your friends or your family um, or this person, right? It's not, it's not happy. You're like, what's going on? Why doesn't it feel like it's great? Like it's a celebration. In the heart, your heart is like, this doesn't feel like it's going to last, right? Ten of pentacles. It's a very, um, where is my stability safety security that's what a ten of pentacles is and the soul transformation death and reverse so this this energy is actually the sensing of the change in this relationship it's not ending it's not dying it's going to be remade in a new way so whether it be platonic romantic take it as it resonates let's see this other person so in their head they have the six of wands they're like, I know this is gonna work. <laughs> um, and then we have the devil, and then I'll take the magician. Actually, I'm just gonna put the, put the boat back. We'll just shuffle again for the bottom. There it is. Six of cups. I like that they have a six and a six here. This is really nice. Death is Scorpio energy, the devil's Capricorn energy. I like this a lot. Um, this individual is like, everything's going to be fine. I'm not worried about it. Right. And they're in their heart. They have this, I want to deal with like my hurt, my pain, addiction, toxicity, attachment, codependency. That's what the devil is. Um, with the six of wands in their headspace, they're like, we're going to get through this and we're going to be victorious. Right. I like that. It's like this, um, energy of like applaud and recognition. Um, and in their soul, they have the six of cups knowing that this is a very um balanced relationship in the soul like in the in the soul's the authentic self right so the soul is like i know that this is my person like i know that this is like who i'm meant to evolve and change with right uh this is nice i like this let's go into oh interesting the magician there it is again okay yeah and then we have the lovers in reverse as the obstacle Bottom of the deck is the Four of Pentacles in reverse. Uh, four, <laughs> four of Pentacles is like the release of control. It feels like it's someone. It feels like almost like someone squeezing the other like really tight, and it, it's a need to like let it breathe, let it breathe, let go. Magician in the current energy is uh, the current energy of the relationship is embodying this personal power, embodying this. I'm capable of doing whatever I want and have all the tools to do what I want to accomplish what I want in my life, right? And in this relationship, the obstacle is to find the balance in this relationship. Lovers in reverse tells me that this dynamic, especially with the devil in reverse in one person's heart, might at one point have suffered with codependency. This is kind of like, um, have you gone numb to the the special essence that this relationship has. Like when a lover's is in reverse to me, it doesn't always mean like an ending of a relationship. It means like, have you forgotten like how unique each of you are and what you both really bring to the table? Like, have you forgotten to see the best in this person, right? That's really what this is, especially on top of the magician. It's talking about each person's um, abilities, talents, what they bring to the table. And it's like, have you forgotten that? Okay, or lost value in it. And recognition in one person's headspace is kind of like, no, like I know what we're capable of, right? 
very very opposite views like one person's like distance like i don't feel connected the other person's like we're gonna be fine like like cup half full cup half empty <laughs> Uh, it's interesting. Okay, let's go. Let's clarify. I want to look at this four. No. Yeah, sure. Four pentacles. Ace of cups. There it is. Fool in reverse. Five of swords and the hermit. Okay. So you have an ace and the fool. Two cyclic energies. I am a huge fan of cyclic energy, especially that you have death and a 10 over here. So two energies of completion of an ending not of the relationship, right? Of the way that the relationship has unfolded. So with the hermit here, it does tell me that there is going to be some time in solitude. This could be like just talking less throughout the day. It could be doing more things by yourself than together as a unit. It could have it, it could be having more physical space between the two of you because what's transpiring is the change, the evolution in both individuals on an energetic level, which makes sense at the end of Lion Gate is happening. We had that super harvest moon. Um, just a few days ago all those things create a lot of high frequency energy that challenges us to really connect with the emotional side and purge what no longer is needed okay ace of cups here with the fool in reverse this tells me that that need for self-love self-care is what's going to almost act as the catalyst for this new beginning and that might be why somebody sees it as a risk like Oh my God, it's really scary to talk about these parts of me that like I'm struggling to love or struggling to really connect to. But that's why you might need to talk to yourself first about it. Um, I'd recommend doing mirror work for something like this. Like I do that a lot. Like if you ever really look at yourself in the eye in the mirror or even put your hand against your own hand in the mirror, that creates a really deep connection with other parts of you that you might need to talk to, right? You might need to tell them things that you haven't heard externally, right? That's a different way to practice self-care. Affirmations or listening affirmations doesn't really do it for you that much. Try looking into the mirror and talking to yourself and affirming things to yourself. I am, you are, we are, right? Okay. Five of Swords. It's just telling me that this is a really challenging time. The Five of Swords is the lowest of the low before the 10. It's like, okay, this is as poopy as you're going to feel about this, but that's why it's the need to go hermit mode. Like this is going to be really hard. It's going to be really challenging and it's going to create a lot of conflict within you. And that might mirror in the relationship, but it's, this is like the lowest of the low. Then you go to the Six of Swords and then you're moving forward again. You just got to make it through the change, the transition. I like it. Okay, let's look at the Three of Cups in this uh, individual's head. Why does this make me want to laugh right away? I don't even know. Strength. Um, this is Leo energy, and we are in Leo season. I like that strength came out, and they have the infinity sign above the head. Lionsgate was on the 8th, which is indicative of that, like, infinity sign, right? So, um, with strength here... I feel like this person's really aware of uh, the parts of themselves that need healing, right? The parts of themselves that they might be struggling to love or care for. Yeah, Ten of Swords. They're like, okay, I know what I need to work on. I should just do it. I just, I just put a nail in the coffin, right? You get it done with. That's why the dis that's why they feel this distance. It's not that this person's creating distance. It's that the universe is like, hey, we're gonna pull your person away a little bit because you got some things that you gotta heal. <laughs> right? It's kind of like that. Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords is the ending. When someone's going through a Ten of Swords, they need space to purge that because it's within them. It's within them and it's what they've attracted in their external environment because the Ten represents the external. So this is going to show up and might feel as if it's the relationship, but it's only because you've gone through the Nine of Swords, which is the self, right? The stress, the anxiety, the fears, the worries, the devil. Okay, let's look at the Ten of Pentacles. So here comes in the self-sabotaging behavior. It's kind of like, I know I should just accept what's being offered to me. You might not like what's being offered to you. It could be like, hey, I'm offering you healing or I'm offering you the opportunity for change or I'm offering you something that deep down you know you really should accept but you've been asking for and wanting but you're just like, it's different and I'm scared to take it, right? And so there's the self-sabotaging behavior to this offer. This offer is coming in out of love. Like, hey, let's do this together. Like, hey, let's let's 
lose 20 pounds together. Oh, that means I have to change my eating habits. That means I have to drink more water and sleep better and do things that are hard and I don't want to do it because it's uncomfortable, right? It's human nature. It's attachment. It's attachment to old ways of being. So this person's like, I see what you're offering me. I don't want to take it. You can keep your cup of love because your cup of love frightens me right now, <laughs> right? And that's just a very stubborn queen. <laughs> queen of Wands is very stubborn. They're very creative. They like to do things on their own and they want to do it on their own time. And the Four of Cups is like, I know I should be taking this cup, <laughs> but I'm not going to. <laughs> that's what their heart's saying. Because <laughs> they're used to having the faulty foundation. That's what's changing. So let's look at this death. Let's look at it. Six of Wands. So everything that's showing up over here is kind of mirroring over here. Like Seven of Swords is equivalent to the devil to me. And the Six of Wands is what's in their headspace. What's ending here is the lack of like recognition. Like they're like, oh, I don't want to really, it, like recognition, accountability go hand in hand for me as a reader. So the Six of Wands is like, I'm not getting recognition for what I have already done. And the universe is like, you haven't even gone through the change yet. <laughs> They're like, you want the recognition, but you haven't gone through the change yet. You've opened the door to the change, but you haven't stepped through it. <laughs> it's kind of like that, like death is here, hello. <laughs> Let's put a nail in it, right? <laughs> Let's get another on death. Emperor, it's challenging this individual to take control of their own life. The Emperor's Divine Masculine Energy. It is this energy of, I know what safety and security feels like within myself, right? And I know how to create it in the external. They are the master of the kingdom, right? They protect and look out for the people in their lives as they do themselves. They create safe, structured realities for the people around them and for themselves. But the thing is, they have a lot of tens, a lot of external energy. They need to give themselves that recognition. Are you recognizing that you are capable of being this emperor? Turn the energy inward. It's funny because I started doing these weekly readings with like ascendant, descendant. So like people like polarity. So if you're a Capricorn rising, Cancer would be your descendant. If you're a Cancer rising, Capricorn would be your descendant, which represents like your shadow, your ego, right? So if you're really attracted to Capricorns or people with strong Capricorn placements, it's because it shows an aspect of you you might not be aware of or see, right? So check out if this is your rising sign, your descendant, or even if it's not your rising sign, right? It's just the polarity of you, the opposite. Let's look at the Six of Wands in this individual's headspace for Cancer. Okay. Six of swords in reverse, eight of cups in reverse, the tower in reverse, and the two of wands. They're kind of like, okay, well, I'm just going to sit here. I'm just going to kind of hype myself up, do my own thing for a little bit. Because between the six and the two is a four of wands. They're creating a structure in their own life, in their own head. They're like, everything's going to be fine. I'm going to create stability in my own life. I'm going to get this in the bag, you know, and I'm just going to like emotionally attach for a little bit and kind of go like do my own thing. Because obviously, Shit's happening over there that I can't control, right? Tower. Tower moment. They're like, okay, we're in the midst of a little chaos, a little spinning around here, right? We're gonna let it go. We're gonna let it go. Not my circus, not my monkeys, kind of that. Okay? Um, this individual is also reviewing a lot of change and transformation that they've gone through with the Six of Swords heading towards the tower to me. It's kind of like, actually, let me just like dot my I's and cross my T's. So they might even be going hermit mode on you. And if that's why you feel really disconnected, it's because they are emotionally disconnecting, not per se from you personally, but just in general to kind of go inward. Let's look at the devil in the heart space. Six, oh, almost said Six of Wands. Eight of Wands, Three of Cups, 
yeah so their heart is like i know that we're going to come back together me and this person I'm like i know everything's going to be fine this is the card of reconciliation it's also the card of celebration it's friends family soul tribe people that you're really close to it's feeling that community again so this individual might be really focused on building a community in which they do feel safe and comfortable with that brings them to life and makes them feel alive again and this is also them wanting to rebuild this with this person. Eight of Wands, it's gonna happen very quickly because they're gonna open up their heart space and be like, hey, like this is me, this is my true face. Let's look at the Six of Cups and the Soul for this. This feels like completely different all of a sudden. Like, um, It felt like a big stop sign was thrown in front of me when I came to the Six of Cups. I feel like this is like a big like spiritual thing to be honest with you, it felt very intense. Knight of Wands. King of Cups in reverse. And the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, Three of Swords in reverse. This is like a really weird vibe because it's almost like, yeah, I'm going to keep working towards this relationship and working towards this relationship. And that's why I think this person needs to go within because their heart space isn't fully open yet. There's, there's like a non-committal energy here. Like I'm like, it's like, a, I'm scared to really give all of myself, but I'm going to give what I can give and the passion and ambition I can give towards this. But, but with the King of Cups in reverse, sorry, like sucked in air and then I lost my voice there for a second. <laughs> King of Cups in reverse. This is that energy of like, it's like a seriousness. It's almost, uh, the King of Cups upright is very giving. It's very giving. It's very loving. It's like, I want to show you that I love you and how well I can love you. And then in reverse, it's kind of like, I feel like I've been taken advantage of, right? And it's kind of like, I'm still going to invest in this relationship, but I'm not going to give as much as I gave before. And I feel like they're trying to find the balance of what to give and what not to give. The Two of Pentacles, because it's actually leading to healing and it's releasing the devil, right? And it's putting an end to that old way of being. Okay, let's look at the current energy with the magician here. A lot of healing going on here. Lots of healing. Hangman and the King of Wands. Whoa, so we got a sexy couple. Yeah, so this couple might do a lot of sexy time together. Just saying, King and Queen of Wands. Um, there's going to be a timeout here with the magician. It's just like the universe is like, hey. This relationship's just in limbo. It's not ending. It's not going anywhere. It's just going through a massive dark night of the soul. Because relationships, two people in a dynamic, can go through a dark night of the soul together because your energy becomes enmeshed over time. It's going through a dark night of the soul, basically, right? Or an integration of your ego, an acceptance of the parts of yourself you might reject or deem unacceptable. And then this King of Wands is like, wait. I forgot how powerful I am. Let me just be a boss bitch for a second here and, you know, get it all together. Because the King of Wands is someone who's really creative. They're really passionate. They know what they want. They're going to go for it. Um, so this is kind of a mutual energy that both people are going to start to embody. But it's going to take time. And that's why the Hangman is here. That's why we have a lot of cyclic energy with the Tower, the Ten of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles, Death. Um... Then we have the, the Fool and the Ace of Cups, right? Just a lot of cyclic energy, things coming to a close. Let's look at the Lovers and the Obstacle. King of Pentacles in reverse, Four of Pentacles, and the Queen of Cups. So another, yeah, so we have the masculine and feminine consistently in balance, right? So we have one person who's like really, really loving and, and really intuitive and like really like I know what you want and I'm going to meet your needs and like it's kind of like self-sacrificing and then the other person like I'm not going to self-sacrifice I'm trying to figure out how much to give to this and how much not to give to it and then we have somebody else who's like the queen of wands reverse is is a really insecure energy to me it's someone who doesn't feel confident in what they can create or build this might be someone who struggles to get projects off the ground and with the king of wands then we have the other person who's kind of like i can do anything i set my mind to right because wands are creative art-based energy so this could be two business people um that are also in a romantic relationship or just speak to your relationship in general okay and your personalities but with the Queen of Cups here and the Four of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles, there's like a there's a um, there's an imbalance between the practicality 
and the emotional side of this relationship like are we giving way too much emotionally like self-sacrificing ourselves for the relationship and forgetting the safety and security the stability of the foundation right because king of pentacles and queen of pentacles represents structure represents how stable is this foundation is it something that's really going to last the test of time or is it something that is going to be chucked out the window because we don't have anything to stand on okay so this is the struggle it's balancing like yeah we could have love but we also need that stability and to the need to release control out of um the fear of not receiving that love right because that's what's creating the faulty foundation the imbalances in this relationship bottom of the deck is the two of cups yeah really strong relationship queen of swords page of pentacles both people know that they need to learn to rebuild the foundation into something that's more stable justice libra energy right balance queen of swords libra energy a lot of balance energy going on here um yeah cancer this is what i have for you I don't see this relationship ending. I don't see it like really moving forward at this time. I think that you're just in a little bit of a limbo because both people are going through a lot of change and that's okay. Be patient with yourselves. Don't try and coach the other one through it. Just support one another. Everybody's going to have to, you know, lead the horse to water, but you can't force it to drink, right? They got to drink on their own, basically. <laughs> in a nutshell but if you want a personal reading or a reiki session book it down below like share subscribe please give this video a thumbs up it helps the channel grow i love you i wish you the best and i'll see you